Baker's cyst. So Baker's cyst is a synovial fluid mass in the popliteal fossa. Enlarged bursa located beneath the medial head of gastrocnemius semimembranosus muscles. It's a type of chronic uh, knee joint effusion herniates into two heads of gastrocnemius muscle. First diagnosed by Baker. Uh, first diagnosed by Dr. Adams and Dr. William Warren Baker. Uh, published a paper in 1877. So two peak age incidence of uh, 4 to 7 years and 35 to 70 years. General population is 10 to 40 percent affected. Depends on the diagnostic management and uh, arthrography and similar population. The common associated with muscle lesions. So there is a communication between the joint and the cyst influenced by gastrocnemius and semimembranosus muscles changes during the flexion and extension the intraarticular pressure changes by the direct flow of the synovial fluid from the suprapatellar bursa knee and popliteal cyst so repeated uh, micro trauma of the gastrocnemius and semimembranosus bursa leads to in, uh, enlargement joint capsule herniation to popliteal fossa trauma causative agents in one third of the patient coexistent joint disease in two third of the cases which could be osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis meniscal tear and infective arthritis the most cases are uh, uh, small asymptomatic not found to have osteoarthritis and imaging studies for other indications they are diagnosed and may be associated with joint uh, arthritis So, the uh, sign and symptoms uh, include posterior knee pain, knee stiffness, swelling, discomfort, and sy- symptoms worsen the physical activity. Enlargement of uh, lower leg could be due to DVT, nerve entrapment, tibial and peroneal nerve, compartment syndrome, anterior and posterior involvement, compression of popliteal vein, venous obstruction, pseudo thrombophlebitis, and thrombophlebitis, and occlusion of the popliteal artery ischemia of the lower limb. Underlying joint disorders uh, could be instability of knee joint and uh, due to internal derangement of meniscal tear, ACL deficiencies, and joint pain, which might be associated with inflammatory arthritis and osteoarthritis and cartilage problems. Physical examination may show palpable fullness at the medial aspect of popliteal fossa or at the near origin of the medial head of gastrocnemius muscles. If injured, the medial meniscus macmeritis is positive. So plain radiography is not a modality of choice. Other intraarticular pathologies, including calcification, low bodies, and joint space. Ultrasonography is of great value and easy, quick, and expensive, and non-invasive. And uh, so ultrasonic. Uh, Diagnosis depends on the presence of cystic soft tissue mass in the posterior knee. Visualizing the communication of the uh, anechoic or hypoechoic fluid between the synovial and the uh, gastrocnemius muscle. Distinguished Baker cyst from ganglionic cyst. MRI is the uh, gold standard for the diagnosis of Baker cyst and intraarticular pathologies. Indicated if there is internal derangement and evaluate anatomical relation with the joint and surrounding tissue. So diagnose incidentally, no treatment advises small risk of rupture. Seek medical advice. Symptomatic prevention not possible. So regular exercises uh, for the management of osteoarthritis. So initial treatment is arthrocentesis, aspiration, intraarticular glucocorticoids, injection of cyst, and uh, The risk of recurrence and improvement of symptoms controlling inflammation and glucocorticoid in- injection. So ultra ultrasound guided uh, corticosteroid injection would be indicated if the intraarticular injection of glucocorticoid failed to relieve the symptom and uh, non-communicating Baker cyst. So post procedure risk are wound sepsis, synovial fistula recurrence, 
and uh, maybe disappearance and reduce or system. So prognosis, uh, there is no complication. Some may resolve it spontaneously and most respond to the treatment associated with knee disorder. Differential diagnosis could be DVT, pleomorphic sarcoma, malignant giant cell tumors, and myxoid lipoma.